similar specs there from both men. The Irish bulldozer, Dickie Larkin, is your man in the middle. With great risk comes great reward. And that is true of what Mashrab John Ruziboyev is attempting to do tonight. You know, it's a lot of pressure on Amin Ayub to be able, again, to adapt. But just like myself last week, we're game, man. We want to put on a show. No matter who's in front of us, we want to battle to the end. Amin Ayub taking the center of the Brave Arena. Needs to be careful. Ruzi Boyev is renowned for throwing big, heavy, looping oh. shots. Just as I do. And he I does say that. rock him. And he's just aggressive. That beautiful right hand was able to drop his opponent. Again, putting too much pressure on. Ayub didn't know what to do. He kind of hesitated and, and got taken down because of it. But he's trying to establish a garden. He's very dangerous off his back. He is indeed. As we say, it wins by submission. Three by rear naked choke. Three by armbar. One by guillotine. One by arm triangle. This is a very savvy submission specialist. That said, those submissions are very difficult to pull off when your head is jammed up against the cage and when your opponent's head is being used as a, as a battering ram to push your ear almost through the slats there. Now he's moving off the cage, may have a few more opportunities. And like you're saying, he's trying to push off the fence. He's trying to create some space, trying to create that angle. Maybe overall throw up an armbar, use the fence, try to throw up a triangle. But Ruzi Boyev is just pushing there the pace. It is. There you and see, it's in. he's going for the armbar. Could he get the fourth it's armbar deep. submission? of his professional career. Look for a oh. slam by Ruzi Boyev. That's one defense, and, and that's one pass. guard pass. Just Fantastic guard pass. Swings the legs to the side, comes over with a shot of his own, and I'm pretty sure Amin Ayub was wondering, where is he taking me <laughs> when he lifted him in such a fashion? And for Ruzi Boyev, this is his first real test, and right now he's passing it with flying colors. Huge opportunity for Mashrab John Ruzi Boyev. Doing the right thing here just to solidify the position. Needs to be wary of that underhook established. That's right. Black Jr. is in top side control, but without the underhook, it's going to be hard to hold it for long, as you can see right there. And there could be another submission attempt coming Super. if he goes back inside that guard. Super active hips from Amin Ayub, but everything thrown with nasty intentions. Huge shot to the body, and now a takedown attempt from Ruzi Boyev. And I like how he's bringing the game to the champ, he's pushing the pace. He's Gentlemen, I wonder, though, where his conditioning's at. Sometimes you see a fighter go all out because they don't believe they've got it in the gas tank to go the full 15 minutes. I'm not sure if that's the case here, but it's a possibility. Uh, Ruzi Boyev has only gone to a decision three times in his mixed martial arts career, twice in victory, once in defeat. And with that being said, might not be used to all three rounds, especially with this last minute fight. Was he training full time? Was he helping his brother get ready for that fight You know, a couple weeks ago? But overall, he's looking pretty well. He's pushing the pace, and he's pacing himself this entire time. Definitely put the, the manners and respect on the champion, Amin Ayub. Amin Ayub just implementing head movement here. It's uh, very much a, a finesse approach from Amin Ayub versus this uh, raw power and aggression of Ruzi Boy. Oh, beautiful oh. lateral to a roll. Nice job. Just used the incoming momentum of Amin Ayub to switch the position and land in the dominant position. Nice knee to the body. Not just land in a position of control, but you saw that downward elbow and that knee to the body. Both those were effective. And now how is Ruzi Boy off of his back? You know, most of his fights, he's a stand-up guy. He's dropping his opponent, getting on top, passing guard, and finishing on top, but he's never really been on his back. And he's never won a he's never of his three submissions, none of them have come off his back. Two re rear naked chokes and one tap due to strikes, so it's not a position that he seems to find favorably. But you have to give him credit for trying to wall walk and uh, isolate an arm. A very difficult position. And they're both showing that they know what to do from this position. Again, with Ayub, he's pushing his or pulling his opponent against the fence so he can't wall walk. But Ruzi Boyev trying to use that fence, trying to create some space and maybe create an angle to escape. Nice scramble, Ruzi Boyev works back to his feet and it goes back to the point being made earlier by both of you gentlemen, is this kind of super aggressive approach sustainable for Ruzi Boyev? That's the hard part, I think just for anyone, even if you're in camp, it's exhausting. Mm. But Ayub is landing some very, very nice knees to the body and picking his shots appropriately to possibly tire out his opponent. Brings him right into the middle of the Brave Arena. Nice throw. Nice little crucifix there. Short time now, about eight seconds left in the round. 
Uzi Boyev trying to work by to his feet. Eat some big shots from the lightweight champion. And that was a very close round, especially towards the end. Again, mm -hmm. the pace is, or the, 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 the pace changed halfway through the fight. Absolutely. In my experience, judges tend to remember what happened better, what happened in the latter part of the round. For that reason, I did give the round 10-9 to Amin Fierceness Ayub, but I could easily see the case being made the other way around. And just as we talked about cardio and sustainability, if you look at the two fighters right now in the corner, it's Ruzi Boyev who's cutting a somewhat more fatigued figure shorty. And that's the hardest part about taking these last minute fights. There's a lot of pressure on yourself. So like you were saying earlier, you want to be able to push the pace, maybe get it done in the first round. And stylistically, that's how he likes to win his fights. But his opponent withstood the onslaught, is he going to be able to do the same thing in the second round? And how long is that going to be able to last? So if you're a mean Ayub, what's the approach then? Do you put the pressure on the fighter that you sense might be a little bit fatigued? I would, I would. Um, I mean, I'm a pressure fighter, so I would definitely <laughs> always yes put the pressure. Yeah, yeah, that right. is, yes, he would. But when you have an opponent who you just thrown twice immediately, mm -hmm. there is no flaw of putting the pressure in. He's going to possibly shoot or throw a big overhand right. If you give him space, he's going to throw that big overhand right. You've already tasted it once, but if you come in close, there's no body kicks. There's no big overhand right just like that, and there's going to be a possibly a grappling match. You're going to throw him again, land on top, and hopefully try to finish the fight that way. Nice cross check to block the kick from the champion, Amin Ayub. Ruzi Boyev just took a deep inhale. And if you're Amin Ayub, you were preparing for a potential five round fight, so your cardio yeah. is bound to be at the, the legit upper echelon of mixed martial arts. Or at least we hope. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Maybe at least we hope. Shorty Torres, ever the optimist. Nice overhand landed there by Amin Ayub, and it seems to be incrementally that he's starting to put the pressure up a little bit. Stuns Ruzi Boyev, but Ruzi Boyev throwing right back. And they're going back and forth, but you know, for, for Ayub, He's giving too much time, he's giving too much space, letting his opponent kind of slowly recover, kind of get back to that point to where he can throw those big power shots that might be able to end in one shot. Nice jab to the body. And Kerrigan really has a tail of two sort of approaches. Uzi Boyev trying to land that one quit or hit her. More methodical Beautiful approach from Amin Ayub. This may be the last part of this fight. I do not see Ruzi Boyev getting off the floor successfully at this point. I think he's gassed a little bit. I think he's taken some punishment. You can see here his posture is completely defensive. On that cross body, and he's a very dangerous thing. You're gonna see that left hand start to come down with punches. Nice shot right through the defense from Amin Ayub. Maybe happy just to stand off and let Ruzi Boyev stand up. Ruzi Boyev has that wide-eyed look at the moment of a potential mm -hmm. adrenaline dump. Amin Ayub does not want to let this man up. He can still get knocked out. And he's up. But it's also exhausting and possibly a little, you know, uh, demoralizing to be on your butt and then, you know, come back up to your feet, be taken down. Nope, come back up to your feet. It's exhausting to just be able to get taken down and come back up and try to give it your all. Oh, 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 right oh huge big hand. There it was. Good call, Carrick. Just how much has champion Amin Ayub recovered? Amin Ayub is showing why he wow. is the champion of the world. And that's twice he's been caught with that overhand right. The first one was a little grazing, but this one showed that he was dropped. He was hurt. Big, big overhand from Ruzi Boyev. Amin Ayub seems to have cleared the cobwebs. Spe Almost, not quite. Speaking again to his superior endurance. Trying to create a little bit of an angle here. Does have one foot on the hip, maybe trying to switch an angle for the arm bar. And this is why I love this sport, because it doesn't <laughs> matter how tired you are, close your eyes, one big haymaker can end it all. Trying to get in on the guillotine. And he's not completely not under the neck. He has the chin there, there but he's not, not there. Quite not either. Does he have the bicep placed just over the nape of the neck? Has the arm in. Traditionally a little bit more difficult to finish. May use it to sweep. 
Mm, just gonna use it to feint the sweep, get on the oh, side, switch now, the grip, it's a lot tighter no, now. Now it's in. Oh, yep, that that's looks in. Super tight. I am not oh, seeing the push that leg from down here, steps to the side, but it doesn't look like he's getting out of this one. Kana Mina, you'll get the oh, second he's... win via guillotine and his professional career. Oh, this is tight. Oh, oh, oh it's Uzi boy. Uzi boy is this a man. man is game. Game as an absolute badger. I mean, are you trying to work for the armbar? Ruzi Boyev postures up out of it. I think Ruzi Boyev has taken a lot of people by surprise tonight, gentlemen. He's doing a phenomenal job. And again, like you were saying earlier, it's a win-win for him. Mm. There's no loss in this. Even if he loses this fight, technically, yeah, it's a blemish on his record. But he's fighting a champion in a last-minute fight and pushing him to his limit. Absolutely fantastic performance from both fighters. Watch and it. we got a we got a figure four in place. There's oh, a Kimura, Kimura locked temp. in. Trying to switch up on the Kimura. He needs to create some space. He needs to be able to get his hips out. Denied. Initially, I thought he was trying to stuff the arm down for the triangle. Again, foot on the hip from Amin Ayub. And Ruzi Boyev's doing a great job with just overall his submission uh, defense. Where a lot of people have succumbed to the submission prowess of Amin Ayub. Ruzi Boyev has been happy to swim in the dark mm -hmm. waters and the deep waters of the submission game. Man. And again, another very close round where you could possibly see either way. Yes. Absolutely. Yo, Ayub got dropped, but he's been action on the bottom the entire time. Mm -hmm. As we spoke about at nauseum in mixed martial arts, it's very difficult in the eyes of the judges to win a fight off your back, despite the fact you're being offensive, Shorty. Man, these guys are going back and forth, and we see that beautiful Huge. looping overhand right, and he's just trying to attack on top. And oh, man, it's just a perfect shot. He gets on top, but again, Ayub is able to hold his opponent down and be able to solidify some submission attempts, but was that enough to win the round back? For what it's worth, and it's nothing, because I'm not one of the judges here, I do have this fight at 19-19 right now. Could be 19-19 or 2-0 and oh either way. Yeah, it's Absolutely. a great call. Absolutely. That's just how thin the margins are in this sport that we love, gentlemen. Ruzi Boyev, again, looking the more fatigued fighter, but I said that at the uh, in between the first and second rounds. Yeah, and he drops his opponent. <laughs> <laughs> He's a game opponent, man, and, and me, I'm officially a fan. I mean, Ayub looking light on his feet. I think now he will be respectful and acutely aware of just how dangerous Ruzi Boyev can be with one shot. I mean, Ayub, though, is on a mission. He's on a mission to end the fight in this round spectacularly. Anything else, I think he'll feel like he let himself down. Oh, man, and you see Ruzi Boyev kind of cocking that right hand, yeah, wanting to throw loaded. it, but he doesn't want to overexhaust himself because he knows his opponent sees it coming. Switching stances. Maybe trying to load up oh. and, and a big switch header. I'm just waiting to go, oh! <laughs> like, I just see him bouncing in, cocking that backhand. And I, uh, I like that it's, it's a little bit old school. It's not light on the feet, it's not in and out. He's literally his feet planted, ready just to come over the top. It's, it's with like it. the Dan Hendo, the left inside leg it's kick, exactly. big overhand left. Or right, whichever one. I can't remember if he was off hard or though. Almost fencing type forward yeah, movement, incremental little steps to land that big right hand. That little crow hop. Oh. <laughs> even even fatigued, even tired, deep into your third round. Ruzi Boyev throws everything with nasty intentions. Oh, beautiful body head work from Amin Ayub. Oh, beautiful knee to the body. And Ruzi Boyev trying to you know get that single leg, trying to solidify that takedown here. Oh, almost he gets there. It. Again, needs to be wary of the guillotine. He needs to step over that Stuck leg that and killing. create some space. Oh, he's got the it's a little tighter than it was the last time, and the last time it was tight. And he's doing the right thing. He's not flat back on it. He's arching up into his opponent. Elbow just a little oh, high. This is tight. Shorty, what does he need to do to finish this it guillotine? It's right there. From there, he oh, to finish the guillotine, he needs to keep on his side. Oh, man, good job. Base transition to the arm bar. Correct defense being exhibited here. Stack defense being exhibited by Ruzi Boyev. He's grabbing his own bicep like a rear naked choke. 
And you can tell Ruzi Boyev now is official fatigued. He's been fighting the submissions, and especially at that guillotine. Doesn't matter if it was tight or not. It's still exhausting. It's messing up your breathing. Mm -hmm. And for him, that's a last-minute fight. He's been pushing the pace for these last two rounds and really kind of just overexerting himself. This might be the end for him. Ruzi Boyev's corner giving a breakdown of how much time is oh. left. They're trying to extort Ooh, him. Beautiful elbows. Left and right elbows to the body, to the head. Ruzi Boyev trying to get that knee oh. shield in, just sliced through. Oh, like a oh, hot knife top. through butter. Potential for oh. huge elbows here from Amin Ayub. This could be the beginning of the end, gentlemen. Wow. Hey, Ruzi oh, Boyev transitions. This guy is game. Wow. That is ridiculous. Again, Amin Ayub foot on the hip. At the time, you think he's finished, you think he's done, and out of nowhere, explosion. Same thing with the right hand in the second round. Same thing in the very beginning of the fight, and now to end it as well. He needs to watch out for the arm bar here. Those ever active hips of Amin Ayub. A bit like Shakira, those hips don't lie. <laughs> Oh, oh that's that's so so over. Beautiful job. I'm loving this fight. Back at you. <laughs> Boy and he's up. pushing the pace, a beautiful knee to the belly, trying to solidify that top crucifix, and he has it right there, he's punching away. And he doesn't necessarily need to land concussive shots, it's more cumulative that you're trying to get the mm -hmm. referee to see that he's not intelligently defending himself. And his pressure is just beautiful. Arm is still trapped. Ruzi Boyev trying to climb against that Runnable fence. walk in reverse. Does a good job, going to get back to his knees here, maybe Half use the cage. Maybe use the cage to try and pop back up. Does he have one left bit, one last big hit or quitter left in the locker? Can he get to his feet? With 60 seconds left. And with Ruzi Boyev's style right now, anything could happen. Can he do a Matt Serra? Can he do a Buster Douglas and pull a huge upset? Man, I was putting that pressure, trying to just overall not just win the third round, but show I am the champion. I am the victor of this fight. Trying to rule as Ruzi Boyev, but as you say, Amin Ayub turning up the pressure. Dex watching oh, he tried carefully. To go for his own Awkward kick, but it landed. <laughs> oh, that's oh, a huge man. shot from Amin Ayub. May look to take the back here. One hook potentially about. 15 seconds left. And from here, all just be about landing damage, leaving a lasting impression in the eyes of the judges. The hard part is, the first two rounds, who do they go to? As you said, you could make an argument for 1919. You could make uh, an argument for both fighters winning both rounds, but. Wow, great performance by both gentlemen. But kudos to Ruzi Boyev for taking this last minute fight, taking the champion to the distance, and putting on a performance the entire time. Kerry Lewis just watching back some of the action here. Tonight has had some genuinely fantastic back and forth wars, and this was another example of it. This, this is when the champ really started to put the pressure on. Deck Larkin was watching very, very carefully. Oh, that sweep was sweet. You hardly ever see that in mixed martial arts anymore. And when you do, it's usually a little sloppy. That one was perfect. And when you take that last minute fight for Amin Ayub, you can tell stylistically he was prepared for a five round fight. Mm -hmm. He really pushed the pace at the end of the second round. He extremely pushed the pace the entire third round. So what does he have left for a possible fourth and fifth round? He was ready for a five round fight, took it in three again. You have to change your game plan. It might hurt him in this fight because again, those first two rounds can go either way. But overall, his gas tank was amazing and he was ready for a longer performance. As I said earlier in some of the fights we've seen, regardless of the outcome, both men, either in a win or taking the loss, have enhanced their reputation. As you say, kudos to Ruzi Boyev, making his debut on the global stage, doing himself, his team, his family, his brother right there with him, doing them all justice. Carlos Kramer once again ascending the steps of Arad Ford into the Brave Arena, meaning we have an official decision. Ahmed Amir behind me. Potentially making his way into the cage. Was meant to fight. Before the decision is announced, gentlemen, I just want to say I can't wait to see full camp Black Junior.
Ahmed Amir trying to take a little bit of the shine away from yeah. Amin Ayub, <laughs> calling out. I mean, I'm technically going to do that too, you know, with the flyways fight happen, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, back to action inside the cage as opposed to outside of the cage. Referee Deggy Larkin bringing the two warrior combatants into the middle of the Brave Arena. Carlos Kramer, make it official. All right, Brave Nation, what an amazing battle inside the Brave CF50 cage. After three incredible rounds, we go the judges' scorecards. Your first judge scores about 30-27. Your next two judges scored about 29-28 for your winner. By unanimous decision, out of the red corner, and the Brave Combat Federation lightweight champion of the world, Amin Fierstein!